Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sibia Nomtandazo. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I'm um, lovely to have you here. Um, before I start with today's video, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you guys to my subscribers and my notification gang. I'm like, love you fam, love you fam fam. Anyways, let's um, get right into it. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about my first job. So I have my notebook right here um, because there's some lessons that I actually learned in the process of getting the job and after I got my first job. Um, so I'll just be showing my first few jobs. So before I got my permanent job, which I am currently working at now, my first permanent job, um, I worked as a student and I also worked um, as an optometrist for like six months, but I explained the video. Anyways, um, so this marks the first video of my first year of work series, which is going to run for about a month or so. So in that series, I will be explaining a few lessons that I learned, basically my experiences and lessons that I learned um, during my first year of work type of thing. But guys, don't stress. I'll, 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 I'll make sure I dive into it like proper, proper. Anyway, so my first job was um, I worked as an optometrist as an optometry student. So I had a bursary when I was in school and part of the terms and conditions for my bursary was that you had to do something they called a holiday work, which means you work on during your holidays and you go to like a hospital or a clinic that's closest to you and they get you like a supervisor. So because I was an, an optometry student, they put me into a hospital. The, hosp the name of the hospital was in Kandla, um Hospital, where um, I had an optometrist there who was an amazing woman. Yeah, let that go. Like, oh, she's still my friend till today because we just really connected. Um, so she was my supervisor because she was the optometrist there and then she supervised and then she signed off your hours and 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 so I basically worked three weeks each year because I got my bursary in third year so I worked for three weeks in third year in December and then I worked another three weeks um, in final year in December and they actually pay you guys which is actually amazing I must say and it actually gave me motivation to actually even apply for my holiday work because I knew okay fine after the period I'll have some pocket money for the following year which was great so that was my first ever official job by the way I've never worked at any other job apart from optometry work I know it's weird but I've, I've never actually done that I tried I tried it um, but I wouldn't get a job guys if you go put your CVs people just don't listen to me type of thing but anyways let's move on to my next job my next job was um, six months that was the contract basically and I was working as a graduate under the Specsavers graduate program so it's a six months program so guys spend four months in PE doing lectures working in different stores and um, yeah basically and then um, the last two months of the program we will spend um, in like cities of your choice so you can either stay in PE go to Durban go to Joburg um, or Cape Town so I want I initially wanted to go back to Durban as well obviously I want to be closer to home but they had some problems finding the accommodation there so then I ended up taking Joburg because I just wanted to see would I be able to survive in the big city because from my experience back then, I did not like Joburg at all. But actually, I have a change of heart, guys. I have a change of heart. I'm a Joburg now. <laughs> Anyways, um, after the program ended, then I um, got a job at Execo Space, where I'm currently working now. And I'm now working as a permanent optometrist um, in that store. And it's been absolutely amazing. Amazing, amazing. Um, so that's basically my kind of like first jobs like series like explaining each job that i did first before I, i'm actually i actually started working where i am now and um basically i'm just going to share a few lessons that i learned it's actually four lessons i wrote them down that i learned um throughout the entire experience so the first lesson i learned is that if you are still in school and you are maybe let's say your degree has like a learnership or like a graduate program afterwards that you can actually join i would encourage you to actually push and work hard on that because they do want to see the result and they do want to see that you're actually determined and you're willing to put in the work for the project type of thing so if you're still a student make sure that you work hard to get into those programs yeah what type of thing and then the second lesson that i learned is try to look for a job that suits your needs so for instance if you want to be working around home try to look for jobs around home 
if you want to be look for relocating to like a new city but obviously look for jobs in that city and then do some research around how's the accommodation in, in the city which area would you prefer living in safety and all the drama so that you find a job that suits your needs and also find a job that suits your career goals so if you are let's say you're doing your final year this year you're starting your final year this year and you want to move let's say to cape town so first of all do research around what kind of okay the salary they pay in cape town for your job um for your experience um and then what kind of places are you going to be working at do they meet your career goals if you don't know someone who works there i'm sure you can always phone ask a few questions before you actually apply and put in your cv to those because i feel like if you're getting a job that's not in line with your career goals you kind of biting yourself like in the hand guys on the video or on the hand i don't know what they say but yeah it's kind of like you're hitting yourself because you are just going to go into a situation where you're not actually prepared for type of thing and then another lesson that i learned was when you are called for interviews make sure you prepare in time so that you're ready for the interview and that you give it your all because it's not just you sitting there in front of people and just presenting yourself they also look at how you speak how you present yourself um I feel like if you don't give like proper answers, they also think, okay, fine, she was just not prepared, you she was not prepared for the interview and that kind. So be prepared for your interviews and just give it your all and be there on time, guys, please. And you know, I don't not necessarily dress accordingly, be formal and all, but just look neat and presentable type of thing and everything will go well. And then the last thing is um once you have landed the job, so you did the interview and it worked out for you and you landed the job. Make sure you try to be the best of what you do, you know, and prove to your employer that you are actually the person you are selling on the interview. You are, you know, you are the product you are selling on the interview. You know your work and you are ready to, you know, maybe take it to the next level so that you can be able to negotiate in raising salaries and all the drama. Anyways, that marks the end of today's video. I hope it is as informative. I try to keep it a little bit shorter because I feel like I also get bored watching very long videos, guys. So I'll try to keep my videos a bit, at least below 10 minutes or just 10 minutes. So um, from me to you today, this is now. Bye-bye. Love you lots, guys. And don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, and share with your family and friends. Um, if you have any advice that you want to give, let's say someone who is looking for a job, or if you have like any advice, that any lessons, I mean, that you learned while you were looking for a job and after you got the job, you can just drop them on the comment section below because I believe that they could help someone. Anyways, from me to you, as I said, bye, guys. Love you lots.